Kanan ka! Ang bulawan na bulak sa kaanyagan, the golden blossom of splendor, is a heartfelt tribute to all the Anga, or women of Kananga. It is a vibrant celebration of our rich biodiversity, intricately woven into fabric of our culture. Kananga, named after Kananga Odorata or Ilang Ilang, internationally recognized as the queen of all flowers, embodies the essence of beauty and grace. Designer, John Hubert Capito. The Awihao tree legend has it was Toledo's first tree, a symbol of resilience, bearing the spirit of Toledana women. They face challenges with strength, echoing the delegate's motto, Ang babaeng pinagtibay ng panahon. The sunbird soaring at dawn represents her aspiration and free spirit, advocating for education and women's empowerment. Designer, Richard Saw de Benzo Apaila. Pagadian City. The Ilang Ilang Flower Inspired Natural Costume is a celebration of the cultural and natural heritage of the Philippines, particularly in Pagadian City, where it is prominently planted. This stunning ensemble captures the essence of the Ilang Ilang Flower, known for its fragrant and delicate yellow blooms. Designer, Amanda Shemmer and Kenny Lagrimas. Baco Or. Superstitions or pamahiin, moths are the souls of the departed, making their presence felt. Some moths have distinct marking called eye spots, which they use as part of their defense mechanism to intimidate predators. Man has learned to harness this form of protection through establishment of magical systems and sorcery predating Spanish colonial times. Designer, Axel Quinn. Bulky Dawn.
Bukit Non is the famed fruit and vegetable basket of Mindanao, the habitat of endemic fauna like Bukit Non woodcock, and where you can find the largest flower in the world, Della Fesha. Designer, Exur Pastor Ranoa. Kainta. Inspired by the town's legend of Hasinta, this architectural floral piece depicts the splendid garden with Kainta's prolific patat flower taking center stage. Like Hasinta, Miss Kainta's grandmother taught her that transformation can only bloom when we root ourselves in the power of compassion. With the patat's delicate petals, this costume symbolizes the soft hearts of the women of Kainta. Yet, Underneath, they are rooted in resilience that speaks to the strengths of their soul. Designer, Axel K. Come begin. This national costume symbolizes the island born of fire and its mesmerizing beauty like a phoenix. Designer, Brianna Alexis Gomez. Cebu. Cinometria cebuensis, a newly discovered species and considered endemic to Cebu Island, Philippines. Yet, it takes face as extinction threats, making it a critically endangered species. Designer, Aika Lim, Chad Solito, Jinom Ursua, Erwin Baler, and Yoko Sato. Davao City. This national costume inspired by the queen of Philippine orchids, Waling Waling. Diwata Waling Waling is a couture costume that embodies the essence of mythical guardianship and natural splendor. As the protector of the 11 tribes of Davao that exudes an aura of authority, together with Sinag, the fateful eagle.
designer, Mark Joseph Sayad. Davao Region. Agila Ogapo Duwaling. Davao's region's national costume epitomizes the iconic symbols of Davao, the Philippine Eagle, and its abode in Apo Duwaling, Mount Apo, Durian, and Waling Waling. The mascot on some in green and shades of red and pink highlights the use of Davao's rich biodiversity. <laughs> Designer Stephen Azarcon. Lake This costume manifests the flightless tickling birds, a previously extinct species of bird rising above the impossible of evolving back into existence. The national costume represents the iterative evolution of the tickling birds, symbolizing the rich gift of nature and rebirth. A creature that is a gem of pride of Leda, which is, which is believed to be the origin of place of the tickling dance. Designer. Stephen Labarado. Pawican. This costume draws inspiration from the Pawican Festival, a celebration held in Naik. The festival honors the town's dedication to Pawican conservation and rehabilitation, particularly the release of Hasling Olive Ridley Sea Turtles. Designer, Carl Balau. Occidental Mindoro. This national costume takes inspiration from the unique and resilient Tamarao of Mindoro, symbolizing strength and endurance. The outfit, with its intricate details, mirrors the Tamarao's distinct features and the rich biodiversity of its habitat. The use of earthy tones and native materials pay homage to the island's natural beauty and cultural heritage. This ensemble is not just a costume, but a tribute to the Philippines' wildlife and a call for its preservation.
designer, Michael Jason De La Cruz. In Dong Tibuan, ang dakilang niduno ng mga kapampangan. This is In Dong Tibuan, a story of the rich culture of the kapampangans. In Dong Tibuan is the earth goddess who mainly focuses on the prosperity of agriculture as well as the well-being and preservation of nature. This ensemble represents the mighty carabaos of Arayat that pastures the vast fields and the food of the mountain. The birds represent the majestic migratory aviary in the swamp of Kandaba. Designer, Karamba Karamba. Whispers of Tayabak step into a realm of botanical wonder of Quezon Province costume. Inspired by the mesmerizing jade vine, locally known as Tayabak, a rare and captivating treasure endemic to the lush landscapes of Mount Panahao. This enchanting attire embodies the unique beauty and essence of a vine that not only dazzles with its surreal turquoise blossoms, but also offers edible delights with flowers shaped like an exotic bird's beak. Designer, Amir Sally. Nestled in the heart of the Seleucid is the pristine coral paradise known as the Tuba Taha Reef. Spanning 97,030 97, hectares, this UNESCO World Heritage Site and biodiverse underwater world is threatened every day by climate change, pollution, and harmful fishing practices. This is a call to preserve the majesty of the Coral Triangle's crown and the hundreds and thousands of marine ecosystems in the country not only for our enjoyment, but for the benefit of nature, livelihood, and cultural conservation. Designer, Chris Sampal Balao. This national costume is a stunning representation of Philippine culture, drawing inspiration from the magnificent monitor lizard in its native Bacawan tree. The majority of them known to the locals as Halo are, local, are located in the isolated regions of Tacloban and Region 8. In the face of difficulties like destruction and climate change, the monitor lizard Halo serves as a reminder of the significance of resilience and adaptation for both wildlife and human communities.
Designer, Charlotte Rodriguez. This national costume stands as a proud testament to her dual heritage, a radiant embodiment of unity, diversity, and the enduring spirit of sisterhood between the United Kingdom and the Philippines. Adorning the costume are resplendent daffodils and the delicate snowdrops from Scotland, where she grew up, representing hope for better days, remembering those that were lost in the Don Blaine tragedy. Designer, DMG Festivali 74. Gilded Harmony, a tribute to Zambales. The Golden View pays homage to Zambales' mineral resources and economic strength. The costume celebrates wildlife conservation with intricately sculpted animals' motives like peacocks, zebra, and lions from Zubik Safari. It represents the harmony between humans and nature. It serves as a testament to art, nature, and culture. It embodies Zambales' essence, inviting all to admire its beauty and embrace unity and prosperity. A jaw-dropping dress for a beauty that is no less. Zambales, designer, Jomar Peralta. Ilo Ilo City Alexis Costume sports a bodysuit with sparkling multicolor details arranged in a design that resembles an eight-legged critter called Ugto Ugto, an Ilonga term for an orb weaver spider. Vital to the spider's symbolism is ingenuity. Its gentle yet complex webs remind us how to be creative and persistent artisans, urging us to weave our dreams with meaning and precision. Designer, Tata Pinuela. 